All right, my friends, this is a video coming from understandcontractlawandyouwin.com. We are the leader in secured party creditor filings and most importantly, the associated processes after you are a secured party creditor. Many websites offer secured party creditor filings saying as well that they do not discharge debt, that those processes are risky and or dangerous, or they refer you to XYZ Forum and recommend that you talk to other people who don't know what they're doing but are trying to figure it out just like you in hopes that hopefully you will figure it out on your own or give up from not being able to discharge anything. Unlike those other websites, UCL or Understand Contract Law, short for Understand Contract Law and You Win, uh, do offer debt discharge services after we work with your secured party creditor process filing. So it's a one-two punch. You, on the first hand, become a secured party creditor, gain some immunity, some uh, indemnification, some protection, some asset protection, learn how to operate a trust effectively and how to set up numerous trusts because you will learn firsthand. You will be able to operate a bank account, learn how to get bank accounts, EIN numbers, and you will be able to have uh, multiple protections from liability and reservation of rights and status and standing in legal procedures, court proceedings, and elsewhere that you otherwise did not have. Plus much, much, much more estate planning, uh, reduction in uh, probate uh, fees, saving your kids and grandkids tons of uh, money later on when you uh, pass away that they will not have to pay attorneys in order to gain access to what you wish to leave behind to them. There's lots of advantages to the SPC uh, trust process. Please learn more on our website. Uh, however, the second advantage, aside from all of those, I think I just listed five or six advantages and uh, real world benefits that you will have from the SPC process, the other advantage is that we at UCL actually offer the second punch, the knockout punch, I will call it. Whereas if you have a court case hearing, um, defaulted uh, credit card or student loan debt or hospital bill, or uh, there's a number of different issues, you can ask and inquire within and we will let you know whether it works or not. There are some things that do not work, so be sure to uh, ask us. But we do offer for the services that we do see do work and do are effective. Not only do we actually live it and do it and have done it for ourselves, but I have personally been doing this for seven years. Debt discharge, debt elimination, and I've monitored and watched various kinds and learned from others who have been doing it for much longer. Uh, understand contract law is six years old. When you pay or learn from others who have not been running a company full time for six years, you do so at your own risk. Many people meet various one man show people uh, here and there in real life or on the internet or on YouTube and report disastrous or ineffective results and they also do not get their money back. <clears throat> okay, so without further ado, um, this is yet more proof. I will go through four uh, examples of debt discharge. We do many other things at our company. Um, so, you know, we don't have hundreds of these throughout the year. We don't have dozens and dozens and dozens of these throughout the year. Um, but we have a uh, small few handfuls. So out of those, I have four people that said that I can share this information um, or that I can uh, uh, cover up their information and not reveal people's personal information. So I will just go through some recent uh, 2017 successes. By the way, we have um, probably something like 25, 30 other successful examples. If you go to our website, 
uh, understand contract law and uwin.com and uh, it's better if you navigate our website on a computer through your internet browser as opposed to through, through your phone or iPad the website uh, does not um, navigate as well and as quickly so when you get the time to browse the website if you navigate through the website and you click on the debt discharge uh, areas you will find some examples of uh, some successes posted onto the website if you join our email list you will also uh, be offered a power intro pack download which also has many other examples uh, in there as well so we already have a couple of dozen examples or so uh, I don't know the number off the top of my head right now but this is four extra very recent in the last uh, year and people are always asking for recent stuff so I'm going to go go through and show you right now uh, once again to protect the individuals identities uh, some of the information is covered up uh, related to the people's last names and things like that so I will have to narrate and show you uh, people's accounts and that these are the same people that we're talking about okay so example number one and I have another example of this on uh, YouTube if you type in student loan elimination it's the first video that comes up by understand contract law um, so we have already shown some of this before but this is an example of uh, the follow-through and complete elimination of these six-figure student loan accounts uh, affecting uh, a friend of mine's uh, credit uh, report so not only has the debt been eliminated and discharged and is gone but it does not affect this person's credit report is basically close to as perfect as it can get for them so I will show you that uh, right now as you can see um, this is so we'll this is client number one we'll call this John and you've got open accounts in good standing three of three there's no negative factors here um, let's see what do we want to click on they have open balances because these are credit cards but they have zero student loans okay now let me show you if you scroll down these are some open accounts open Bank of America accounts but then you have some student loan accounts here in the six figures 154,000 119,000 they are closed and there's some other loans as uh, well that are also closed so although these loans are closed with uh, out being paid traditionally they are discharged and are not affecting the credit report as you can see student loans zero and if you go to Equifax student loans zero accounts in good standing four of four so the only debt this person has is on their credit cards and we will click on accounts and um, see actually dashboard okay so when we go to dashboard you see the uh, individual's credit score 645 TransUnion and 667 Equifax um, my point is not to show that they have the best credit score number that is uh, not affected by the student loan being there or not being there the point is, is that the student loan is not negatively uh, reported on their report if you click on let's see three active accounts um, where is the section I wanted to click on my overview dashboard accounts three active accounts there's supposed to be a bunch of factors. Uh, okay, I found it. So there's now we're looking at the credit factors. Okay, and this is the meat of the person's credit report. Uh, as you can see, there are six factors: credit card use, payment history, derogatory marks credit age, total accounts, and hard inquiries. So all of them are green other than credit card use. 100% payment history, zero derogatory remarks. Well, this person had a student loan that they never paid because we discharged it. It 
it's not affecting their credit report. They don't have a derogatory remark. They used to have a derogatory remark related to it. They have defaulted on a federal student loan a while ago, uh, but we subsequent we since then have discharged it. Uh, their payment history is 100%, so they're not late on any payments. So all that negative payment history from the credit from the student loans are gone. Uh, the total accounts, the hard inquiries. So the only thing on their uh, TransUnion report that is lowering their credit report is the credit card use of 67% of the limit. So that has nothing to do with the student loan. Then you click on the Equifax 667 uh, showing today in February 2018. Again, Equifax also shows zero derogatory marks, 100% payment history, and no negative student loan mark. It's like it's not even, it's like it was never there. All the months and months and months of bad payment histories, well how come this is showing 100% payment history, zero derogatory remarks, uh, again the only thing is credit card use, uh, which can easily be fixed if this individual wanted to pay down some of their credit cards uh, instead of having 60% of their uh, limit. So if they want to pay that down to below 35 or even below 25%, that would go green and their score would boost up probably to like 750, somewhere in that range. And so once, it, once again, um, student loans, zero, both TransUnion and Equifax, even though they had 119, 154 U.S. Department of Education, okay? So I hope that that was helpful to people that uh, ask me for proof. This is uh, John's uh, Department of Education uh, letter back in 2015. Total balance, $234,000 due. Basically stating that you've defaulted on these loans. The entire outstanding balance for the loans is now due blah 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 and as you can see one of them was about 102,000 the other one was about 132,000 after all that interest the numbers went up and that's why the credit report number was much higher so I just want to show you that this is the same individuals um, information so what's uh, what's on what's on here okay yeah so the loans are slightly larger we already looked at those. Okay, so that's client number one. Moving on, client number two, Lending Club, 35,000. So this is Nicholas, and Nicholas is before. Equifax credit report, as you can see, the name Nicholas so-and-so, February 16th, 2017, and this is just a snapshot. We're just gonna show you the scores, 418, 411, 410 on Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. Poor, 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 so in the low 400s. Then, the next month, in March of 2017, we sent a 18-page packet of information to Lending Club, as you can see, from Nicholas. Uh, he filled in the certified mail number sometime in March 2017 and uh, there's a uh, beginning of a long series of demands and affidavits and acceptance for values and various different, uh, I'm not gonna show you all of that right now, this is just the first cover page to Lending Club. Regarding account number 1277, or beginning in 1277. So then we um, show you a copy of the credit report as of December 2017, so way later on in the year, the end of 2017. This is a snapshot of Nicholas's credit report, and as you can see, account number 1277. Can I zoom in there a little bit? Uh, let's try to zoom in a little up. Zoom in a little more. All right, that's as good as I can get, I guess. Um, actually, let me try to zoom in further. Uh, let's zoom in 300%. All right, there you go. Just um, let's try to 
Oh, I just don't want someone to have to squint. Okay. Account number one two seven starting in one two seven seven, and date opened sometime in twenty fourteen. Balance date. So as of recently, the balance amount zero zero and not reporting. Monthly payment not reporting. The high or the limit on the loan was thirty five thousand dollars. Account status as agreed as agreed as agreed. Pay past due amount zero dollars, zero dollars, and zero dollars on all three credit bureaus reported as zero. Now, what's in the comments section is not that big of a factor, and sometimes it doesn't always say what we want it to say in the comments. But unless an individual actually reads all the comments on all of the dozens of, you know past credit history on your report, it's really immaterial what it says in the comments. What's most important is what it says in the balance amount and the past due amount, particularly the balance amount. If the balance amount is zeroed out, you're fine. It doesn't really matter what it says anywhere else in the comments. But in this particular example, the comments say closed or paid account, zero balance, unsecured. Closed and paid this is an account in good standing last paid May 2016 I can tell you that this client did not pay this $35,000 loan down instead they were a secured party creditor and we discharged it so it has been zeroed out on their credit report as well as the uh, loan being reported as never being late, Lending Club Corporation, never being late. Uh, uh, this is a different Lending Club loan, which is afterwards, but we're looking at the same loan up until this point. So this Lending Club loan has zero, zero, and zero. 30 days past due, never, zero, 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 60 days past due, never, and 90 days past due, never. So we actually zeroed out all the past due late history, and it appears and is being reported as it was never late. But I can tell you the client did default on it, but we discharged it and wiped it out. Now, it's important to note that we were able to correct the credit reports and are able to correct the credit reports without actually doing any credit repair necessary, which is wonderful because as anybody who's anybody knows, uh, it's very difficult to do credit repair. It takes time. If you Google credit repair and try to find a company that can do it, nine out of 10 lie to you and can't do it. The one out of 10 that can do it <clears throat> charge you monthly fees uh, not for results based, but for monthly based. And sometimes you don't even know if they're sending out letters on your behalf and it could take a year or two. And sometimes they might knock some of the items off your credit report or correct or delete some of the items by disputing to the credit bureaus. However, the majority of companies, uh, most people report to me and from my own experience are unethical and do not actually uh, offer a great service so it's great to be able to discharge debts and also fix the credit report without doing any credit repair and actually just have it be automatically incorporated into the discharge process as you can see this is uh, Nicholas's uh, negative accounts on his credit report is listed as none accounts that contain a negative status there's nothing listed closed accounts collection accounts you have no collections on file, so there's no negative accounts, collections, or public records on file for Nicholas' address and social will remain private. Okay, this is just a continuation. We were going over um, example number two, Nicholas's uh, credit report. No negative accounts, no collections, no public records on file and all good to go. Um, then we will show you the latest credit scores from December 2017. 
they have gone up to 559, 558, and 568. If you remember, we had showed you in the beginning the uh, February of 2017 Nicholas 418, 411, and 410. And now, after discharging some debts and not needing to do any credit repair, but just allowing the discharge process, these scores have boosted up about 150 or so points to 559, 558, and 568. Uh, so, <clears throat> and again, this is without doing any credit repair. Merely doing discharge as a SPC, secure party creditor. Then you have example number three, um, credit one, credit one. So you will see here on the left, this is a sample of one of the letters that was sent. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Regarding, so sent to Credit One Bank regarding account 4447, and on the, as you can see, there were 32 pages that were sent in this particular mailing, one of many mailings and many steps in the discharge process. But then you have the, the same individual's credit report here, Credit One Bank account number and starting in 4447, and as you can see, the account had, if you look on the past due section, it has been zeroed out. Zero dollars, zero cents TransUnion, zero dollars, zero cents Experian, zero dollars and zero cents Equifax. I have a really bad ar arrow here that I wrote in there, but that's the best that I can do. Again, it doesn't matter what it says in the comments section because people are not who pull your credit are not really reading the comments. Although in the last example I showed you that we do have a lot of success of changing what the comments say to correct it as paid as agreed, paid in full, or just closed with no other further information. As it says right here, it does say collection slash charge off, but nobody is really reading that and it's not reporting to the credit report as that it is reporting as zeroed out. So, uh, as you can see here, balance zero, zero, and zero, past due zero, 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 okay. So I could have put another arrow here showing that the current balance is zero. Again, I know from first hand knowing this individual that their uh, credit capital, credit one bank credit card was maxed out and was not paid down to zero. However, when we discharged it, the credit report reflects zero out and the debt basically does not need to be paid. Last example here of a, another client named Ed Equifax credit score from February 2016 name Ed covered up last name 574, 578, and 563. We're not going to go through the entire credit report. I'm just going to show you, okay, 570s and 560s. And then uh, updated as of November 2017. Uh, again, Ed's Equifax. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Uh, Ed's Equifax is 734 which is considered very good on Equifax, 674 for Experian and 680 for TransUnion. So we went from February 2016 to 500, 570 to Seven, a high of 734, high 600s, November 2017. Now, I realize that's a decent amount of time. Early 2016 to the end of 2017 is much longer than a year. Um, 
However, there's certain reasons as to why it took that long, but the bottom line is I showed you many examples and uh, some of them can happen quicker, some of them the clients drag their feet or there's many factors, but at the end of the day, here are some proofs of credit scores getting bumped up. Um, I made some notes here. Well, not only that, but the debt not needing to be paid back. <laughs> the six-figure student loan, the $35,000 lending club, uh, just some examples of many. So I will read from some notes of some things I think are important to state here. Uh, when you are an SPC and discharge these loans, the accounts close and you cannot use them again. Okay, so you cannot just uh, discharge the debts and um, expect to uh, you know continue using the card. They will close down your card. There are sometimes 30 pages of information that need to be prepared. Multiple mailings when they send a response, you may need to send a couple of responses. And if you are inexperienced and fill out the wrong information, this will not work. If you just fill out an accepted for value uh, statement, this will not work. And by the way, there is no sending anything to the IRS, Ogden, Utah, or any of the UCC, Treasury, Contact Trust addresses. If someone's teaching that, it's wrong information. I've never seen that work uh, when it comes to discharging credit cards. Now, I also just want to say that if you are someone, a lot of times I hesitate to do YouTube videos because unfortunately YouTube tends to attract the bottom of the barrel uh, people. Um, Sometimes there are people who just hang out on YouTube all day and they never will ever actually navigate through our website to dig deeper and find the tons of dozens of cases of proof that we show and educational articles and videos and I, I don't know what it is. So, you know, if I disable the YouTube comments, it's because there's bottom of the barrel people that type in, you know, three word comments without any um, you know, intellectual uh, substance su supporting their reaction or whatever. You, know, you might see YouTube comments, uh, share this whole process with us for free, please. Or uh, sometimes people with spell errors in it, three or four words, please post the process. You know, Sorry guys, <laughs> if you are broke and feel entitled to have somebody do this for you free of charge, uh, and or next to nothing in compensation. Uh, please do not leave a YouTube comment. Please do not visit our website. And I, I would just state this. Uh, again, I've been doing this for a number of years, as stated earlier, you know, seven plus years. And I seriously doubt that you will be able to find anyone else that can do this uh, in a way that will last and have these accounts never negatively pop up back again. Uh, I doubt that anyone who can do this is also getting the accounts zeroed out on the credit report and getting people's credit to boost back up. Um, the credit, the items on the credit report are generally either zeroed out like I showed in the examples, removed from the credit report altogether like they were never there in the first place, and or wind up having certain remarks but unaffecting your, cre your, credit, re your, credit, uh, re your credit report factors. Uh, and all this obtained without needing to take the risk and timeliness of waiting on someone who claims that they can do credit repair, i.e. disputing with the credit bureaus. A hit or miss, slow, excruciatingly painful process for anyone who has had any experience with it. For those of you wishing to make purchases with money you do not have and using credit like on credit cards for your bills and, and living expenses or purchases and or for those of you who decide to go to school without saving up the money to pay for it first, please note that you will run the risk of racking up debt and whatever the consequences that may cause. So take responsibility for that choice of getting something before you fully pay for it. Take responsibility. Basically, the worst that can happen is that the companies will get the money from you one way or the other in time, plus more money from you by interest that accrues 
into the principal and possibly attorney's fees and possibly at an untimely time in your life when you are not planning to pay this back or to allow them to take this. So if you've defaulted on your federal student loans, for example, and you do not work with UCL or a competent group to discharge it, you do run the risk of your paychecks being garnished, your bank accounts levied of any and all funds available on deposit, or a set off of tax refund money from overpayments and taxes that you were expecting from last year, or also losing any inheritance from any family member or friends who may have put you in their will or had a trust set up for you in the event of their death of one of these loved ones or close friends who were passing who are planning to pass some of their life's earnings and assets down to you unfortunately the death of a loved one can strike at unexpected times and obviously people do not plan when they will leave this earth. So take precautions and make sure that you take care, especially of these defaulted federal loans ASAP. Otherwise you may see a possible inheritance being levied to go to the Department of Education rather than you inheriting a pile of money. Visit our website, understandcontractlawandyouwin.com, and learn more about the secured party creditor process. Join our email list, read our website closely. For those who read and study and study it thoroughly enough, you will be able to dig and find our telephone number. We welcome you to call us. Uh, it's a little hidden so that we don't get bottom of the barrel people who haven't studied our information calling us in vast numbers and us basically returning the calls, finding out that you didn't read our website and then just telling you to read our website and then call us back later. It's an extremely inefficient use of our time. So when you do study our website thoroughly, when you do download, get on our newsletter and download and study the Power Intro Pack, when you do study our audio lessons, when you do understand what you are about to engage in, or considering engaging in, or research, or just if you're just researching it before you, you know, are leaning towards, you know, making a, a conclusion to do it or not. When you do carve down some narrow, precise questions, give us a call. Okay, I just wanted to pull up the website real quick. So when you do narrow down and study our website and have some narrow, precise questions, find our phone number on either our email list, which you can click join now and join our email list uh, to one of your preferred emails. I know people have lots of emails. We don't send out a lot of emails, so I would recommend using one of the emails that you check most frequently so you can be alert when you get an email from us. Uh, we don't send out a ton of emails every week. But when you're on our email list, you will get our phone number. When you dig into our website, you can find our phone number uh, and then give us a call when you have some precise questions. Um, let's see, what else did I write here? Yeah, give us a call. Our trained team members are happy to answer your questions and share what needs to be shared without any sales gimmicks or pressure to make a decision. We're the good guys and we're on your side, but you have to understand what the consequences of your possible procrastination are, and you must motivate yourself. How fast you move is up to you. We're not going to call you and you know check in with you every week and see if you're ready to do it. We're, we don't have the time. Hopefully you will take action soon before you have funds yoinked out of your bank account or elsewhere unexpectedly. I uh, can't tell you how many people over the last seven years have said that they're studying the information, they're studying the information, and then they contact us when they have already had the funds taken out of their bank account or from their tax refund or from their inheritance or whatever the situation may be. It's, it's nothing we can do after that point. In theory, there might be something you can do by opening up a lawsuit and trying to get that 
levy reversed or the garnishment reversed, but it's so much effort to, to reverse it after the fact that our company does not do it. So if you've had your wages garnished or your bank account's already levied, we can't help you. You must get in contact with us early enough because it's one twentieth of the amount of work. We would have to charge so much of a donation. We would have to request so much of a donation for the work to reverse a levy or um, garnishment from one of these defaulted uh, loans or uh, lawsuits or whatever. Especially considering that these processes do take some time to complete. I would consider making a decision, whether it's yes or no, I would consider doing your research, calling us, and making a decision sometime soon. I can't tell you how many people on my email list have been on my email list for five years and six years and haven't, haven't done anything yet, haven't pulled the trigger, haven't done anything yet. The few who have, I've gotten results for. I can tell you that. I tried to show some of the examples. And uh, keep in mind the secured party creditor process is needed first before discharging any debt. And it needs to be done correctly, so you need to do it with us. It does cost $1,700, so budget the money for that. And also be aware that you would need to do a second additional process to discharge whatever loan that you're looking to discharge. So each of those two steps are their own separate steps. Each of them will cost you and each of them will take several months to complete. So, you know, don't contact us if you're broke and obviously do not procrastinate and wait and wait and wait because each, each of the two components of the process take several months. So, you know, from beginning to end, you might be looking at, if you're not a secured party yet, that might take you two or three months. And then the loan discharge might take another two or three months. So don't, don't wait. <laughs> don't wait until it's too late and you have your paychecks garnished. If you want the loans canceled as before it becomes a bigger problem and 10 times as much work, Contact us now, research this now, get your SPC stuff in order, become a secure party creditor. We have a SPC done with you process, which is the best of a kind. I hope to be put, posting some testimonials uh, up uh, soon when I get around to uh, recording some testimonials on that. But uh, contact us and click on the section on the website and read what it's about first and then contact us and you will uh, be more than satisfied with the service. Uh, and one more point, we are not the cheap guys in town, but we are the effective guys in town. If you, guys and gals, we have males and females on our team that can help you when you when you give us a call. You'll you'll have <laughs> we're the cheap we're not the we're not the cheap guys or gals. We're the effective team. Okay. So if you're looking for a bargain, go to the pawn shop, and get some ineffective, uh, rusty uh, stuff that's falling apart and doesn't work and will never fully, completely solve the problem. But if you are looking to pay for effective debt elimination and debt dis discharge, please know that UCL is the real deal. And so if you're looking for the real deal done right the first time, visit our website, join our newsletter, and then contact us. We'd be happy to have you be one of our successes in 2018 and have your debts, the ones that can be discharged at least, be zeroed out and canceled. There's no charge to call us for a free initial uh, consultation or two, possibly two or three. Uh, as long as that they are short and you just call and wait in line, there may be a several day return call. And again, I'm not giving out the phone number so that we will get you know 30 calls a day from uninformed people who haven't read the website. Do not call us and ask how much it is. It's all over the website. I, I mean, I'm looking at it right here, it says it's $1,700. So study, look at the website, spend some time on it. And again, it's best viewed on a computer PC, laptop, etc. Not as great to view the website on a uh, iPad or mobile phone. See you on the inside.
hope I've motivated some people and showed some people the proof that they need to get started.